Yeah, I, I think we pretty much found where the problem is, is coming from. We're in the 6300 block of South Johnson Street, literally in the shadow once the sun comes up of the two lane sports uh, and athletic complex directly across the street from, uh, from on Cal uh, Calhoun Street. And as you can see, we see where the water main break is. And if you look in this area, obviously you can see how deep the water is as it's getting up on the cars in this area, but there are huge chunks of mud all over the place. This really looks to me like uh, when that thing broke, it went. It looks like it blew dirt, blew mud, blew stuff uh, really out into the street here. It's really kind of hard to get even walk around. It's very soft even in the middle of the street. Most of the houses in this area are raised, and that's good news, but there's at least one house across the street here. You can see the front door. Uh, on the house across the street. And obviously it looks to me like water is gonna, at some point, probably get into the, at least the bottom part of that home. Now, as you were saying a little bit earlier, this is gonna cause a traffic headache uh, over on C uh, Claiborne Street for a while. I mean, they've had to go ahead and close down at least one lane of uh, Claiborne with big barrels, you know, so when traffic starts heading into the city this morning, uh, you need to be aware of that. But right now, the Surge and Water Board is trying to deal with, <laughs> this is just an enormous water break here on South Johnson, literally at Calhoun. We saw some heavy equipment. There's a, there's a big fence over here that kind of separates two lane from this neighborhood. We saw some heavy equipment moving around over there just a few minutes ago. It doesn't appear to have done uh, anything at, th at this specific location, not to say that it's not trying to get something else accomplished somewhere else. And the people in the house across the street, they've been coming out to their front porch uh, looking at the water. And actually, this uh, looking over here, uh, young lady that's walking out right now. Let me walk this way. Excuse me. Are you believing this? Here, I'm, I'm going to come see you here for a second in the mud. Again, this is uh, it's very treacherous out here. Just be careful. I'll come see you. Again, this is South Johnson Street where we're kind of getting all this mud looks like it must have blown out when the when the uh, yeah. when the water main broke. Did, which where do, where do you live? I'm in this one right here. Oh, you're you're right where the break is. Yeah, I am. This is insane. And I have to get somewhere pretty quick right now. And it's like it's going to take me a half hour to walk around. So, yeah, it took us a while to try to get in here. Get do you, in any, here yeah. any idea what happened? Um, we think it was a pipe leak. We called um, a few of my housemates called 911 at two in the morning to put in a request about this, and obviously, it, nothing's been done. So, I don't could really you know. hear it when it happened? Um, I personally didn't, but my housemates came back from babysitting at like one or two a.m. and then we like looked out and I couldn't believe it was happening. So yeah, we were watching y'all on the front porch over there. This is a this is a show. I know, and they're trying to figure out if they should move their cars or what. Um, so yeah, it's insane. Hard to, hard no to... other city this would happen in. So <laughs> that, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but you guys are okay. Yeah, we're all okay. We haven't gotten any water in our house yet, so yeah. it should Looks be like okay. Looks like they're gonna get some over here. I know. I'm worried about them. Yep. I feel like I should knock on their door. I don't know. Well, I, uh, I would have to think that at some point they're going to understand what's going on yeah. out here. I'd hate to open it because you let water in, wouldn't you? I know. You yeah, go. exactly. So you look like you, I saw some other people going to, going to practice, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm going to practice. Yeah. yeah. What do you, you play, What is that, volleyball? Um, I'm on the swim team. So. There you go. There yeah. you go. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, my coach said I could swim on the way over. So right, There you go. Yep. Look, thank you so much for spending yeah. a minute. What's your name? Ellie Vincent. Thank you, Ellie. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, well, we're going to try to make, whoops, I might be part of the swimming team here in a minute myself. Oh, yeah, you do the same thing. It, it's treacherous out there. I'm going to just try to make my way carefully back across the street. That's the situation here again. This huge water main break here on South Johnson, literally blowing mud chunks out into the, out into the road. The, the road is filled with, filled with mud. And folks are pretty much strapped back here other than trying to walk out. It looks like some cars are in some sort of danger at this point. We'll see how, how quickly the Surge and Water Board can go ahead and get uh, this situation under control. But that's the situation right now, Randy. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Heath, we're gonna have to get you some waiters. I'm gonna have somebody bring you some waiters or some, some shrimp boots out there to you pretty soon. Hey.